hi everyone it's Cindy welcome back to color cubers this is a little collab that I'm hosting just to kind of have fun using the color cubes by Sarah Renee Clark you can find more details down below in the description box on this cube there are two of them and um, the creator and all those things this is an ephemera making challenge where I draw a card and then I use those colors to create a piece of ephemera so what's it gonna be today let's let's just let's just close our eyes and just pull this card out what's it gonna be Oof. okay let me get my piece of paper that I jam in there so I don't lose my card spot and this is card number 64 from box one so this is a lovely iceberg it takes me back to the lovely time that I spent in Newfoundland um, just looking at gorgeous icebergs so I'm seeing some black some to me quite navy blue gray uh, sort of a childlike sky blue and then another dark color kind of like black and more black charcoal maybe yep charcoal okay so charcoal bondy blue cool gray charcoal again but but different and black so why charcoal twice and how is that different well here is your hint in these um these codes are hex codes for the color so when you look this color up online you can get the exact you know RGB of the color so there is more than one charcoal um, this one is a more I would say blue and this is the more black um, also these colors the way that they're set up there's this range which is the same over here so these are the same but then um, the sorry the one in the middle I should say is the same as what we see over here this is the lighter version and the darker version where they've added more white and more black to the color so what I'll do now is I will wander off and I will find things so that we can make with this beautiful set of colors and I'll be right back okay so I think I have a decent palette together here so what I'm going with for charcoal um, is for the the lighter of the two charcoals or this kind of more bluey one it's actually this seam binding and i think i used this in the last video too just ironically it's the perfect charcoal i need to hoard this <laughs> um for the other charcoal though um you know it goes in deeply to black well and there's black okay so this is the black black and then the other charcoal goes a little quite deeply into blacks and there are nice um, tones in this Tim Holtz doll um, there are nice charcoal tones in this so I will use that along with just the other blacks and charcoals I think they're kind of spread around they're not the hard ones to accomplish the Bondi blue I have this Posca marker um, I don't think there's numbers on these ones oh yeah light blue it's very good for the Bondi blue I think and then also there are shades of the Bondi blue in both the brighter parts of the blue jay and the white breasted nuthatch has the slightly more like the blacker tone um, it's in this bird's wing as well then cool gray so we're gonna use some of my old couch today <laughs> I'm not kidding this woven beautiful woven fabric you know one thing that happens to you when you have children is that you go through many many iterations of furniture or at least I have in my case maybe not everyone has children who are you know furniture destructors but mine are so that being said this was an Ikea couch and it had a beautiful cover so when I had to get rid of the couch because um, I'm not exactly sure what happened to it but some part of the inner wooden frame broke um, in you know I don't know what happened but it broke <laughs> and so I kept the whole entire cover from it and I've been making things slowly out of it I've made a journal cover out of it I've, I've made all sorts of things and it's just a beautiful woven like cotton fabric I'm actually very sad every time I see this fabric so I'm like I need to keep going because that was just a beautiful couch even though it was Ikea and they're not the best but anyways um, so I've also got a base here and I want to start with just a base tag to give myself like a bit of a you know a starting point with the project so what I want to do with this um, 
I want to put this piece of fabric on here, but we first need to do something with the tag. So I'm going to, I forgot to grab, pardon the arm, I'm just gonna reach here and grab this. This is Broken China, which is perfect for the Bondi Blue. Um, and I'm going to use some Distress Oxide here to just cover the edges of the tag so we can make it all beautiful and interesting. So we'll have a bit of a slow little make session here. Let's clean off my... Okay, so yeah, we'll just kind of go around the edges. And also a little on here because I like that. Get rid of the brown. We don't need the brown. So I had a lovely long weekend with the kids we went we saw my parents we went to a waterfront and had a nice picnic my mother made a giant um, tub of potato salad everyone loves her potato salad but the big joke is that she only makes it in servings um, of like 150 people or something so um let's say i've just i've got a big vat of it in my fridge i'm not i'm not mad though it's actually very good so I'm not going to cry about that. Okay, so let's just hit this with some water. And it's already getting lovely. This bottle's a little empty. I sort of do this on purpose um, because it gives me a different kind of splash. Like, I have different options for how the water can be sprayed, if that makes any sense. So I just realized um, I didn't cover enough down here. Hold on. Let's just dobble this around because I don't think that the um, the fabric will go all the way up there, right? So now I'm just going to dry this. I will do it off camera so you don't have to listen. Okay, so this is dried. It's so lovely. Um, so let's just get rid of the wet, a little bit of wet paper. Then I'm going to grab my black soot and I'm just going to go around just the very kind of tippy edge here to just give it an outline. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> my book string got caught in uh, my oxide. There we go. Treacherous. Okay, so now we can, I think, trim this down to where it needs to go. Probably about here. Yeah. So, trim this off. And then the fun thing with this woven fabric is that I can pluck um, a few of these strings off of each side to get a nice bit of um, fray when they want to cooperate. There we go. Anything woven like this you can fray. It also um, because you're undoing line by line, it will help you get a straight edge if you don't already have one. Just want one more off this side. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and then another one from up here. A couple more maybe. Yeah, because I want a nice noticeable fray. there just like so um what i will do though i want to take a quick little break to just maybe stitch this on but um you know something i think i might do it by hand so i won't take a break i'm gonna i'm gonna force you to sit here with me <laughs> just kidding i'm not really forcing you you're allowed to get up if you need to <laughs> um but we are gonna stitch 
<laughs> okay, let's grab a needle here. I had such lovely conversations today. It was so nice. So I went um, to a town <clears throat> that I go to. I haven't been in a long time, but it's kind of a meeting point where we meet up with my parents where they live and where we live. It's kind of in the middle. So there's a nice beach front there. And, you know, it was a nice day today. And it's the um, long weekend for Easter and all that. Um, so we decided to meet up with my folks and have a nice picnic. And there was a lot of people at the park, which was great. And I talked to so many people today. I was like, this is this has been a really nice social day. I talked to the loveliest people. Oops, one moment. Dinner is ready. <laughs> um, so that would be the dinner bell, friends. Um, I will uh, probably need to go up and do that. I started dinner and then I said to my husband, you were, were making this lovely pasta and I said, you can watch the water boil. I'm going to go do something else because I've already made this nice, I made a nice sauce and I've got everything else ready to go so he can do the rest. Not to say he's not well versed in uh, dinner preparing because he is, but um, yeah, he, I just got started because we had so much to do today. He was unloading the car and I'm like, I'll start dinner. <laughs> so yeah, it was lots of stuff that we had to do. So why don't I go respond to the dinner bell and finish my stitching. I'm just going to do just a running stitch all the way around here um, for decorative purposes and then I'll come back and we'll do the rest. Okay so this has been stitched around and then I just added some envelope on the back to just give it like a nice backing over that stitching. Um, so then our lovely little couple here, I want them to be here. And then I need to figure out how I want to incorporate these birds. So let's just start maybe by cutting out. I want to try to fussy cut around these yellow flowers. I know that yellow is not part of the uh, color scheme necessarily, but this forsythia plant that this blue jay is sitting on is so pretty that I feel like we're allowed to... Um, do whatever we want here. You know, we're going to go beyond just the colorway. We can add an extra bit if we want to. And you know, as I'm doing this, I should actually back these and thicken them up a little before I cut them out or else I'm just going to be double fussy cutting for no reason, for no good reason anyway. Um, what do I have here? Just need some regular paper. There we go. Um, glue. Okay. Then this one. glued down here and then we'll cut them out. See this would have been what I had to do is repeat all my steps again <laughs> and that would have been no fun. <laughs> there we go. So I'm so happy to still have another day off. Having a long weekend should be every weekend. Ah, it's so good. You can get so much more done when you don't have um, so much work to do in a week. I'm excitedly waiting for my new garden beds to arrive. I'm going to be revamping my whole backyard and my garden and also my dining room. I have like this massive project I'm embarking on. 
now that I have a little bit of time where some days both my children are in school so it's kind of good because I can do things and uh, not have to worry about like are we spending enough time with the kids or do the kids need anything <sighs> so it's good I think my kids got so much um, Easter chocolate. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of chocolate. I'm going to be rationing chocolate for several weeks, I think. <laughs> okay. So let's plot out where, how we want to put these. I sort of like this maybe kind of lined up there. That would be cool. And then this... Um, Perhaps toward the bottom. I need to go a little lower because I don't want that bird beak poking our lovely gal here. And then these can be down here. Okay, so I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to glue these down on the fabric. my bottle stuck <laughs> or is it just being crabby let me see oh yeah it's got a little little bloop there can we push through no we can't okay where is my pin my glue bottle pin over here there we go Fabri-Tac is like a great glue, but it gives me such a hard time. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Hmm. have like a bubble or something let's just take this off for a second yeah that's I think what it is I think we have a bubble sometimes you get like an air bubble in the cap itself and it just makes everything way more difficult we're gonna use this excess glue that's all over my finger from opening that up <laughs> what a calamity but yeah I think it's what it is I think it's this air bubble and when it does this, it's usually in the last like quarter of the bottle. So the things we do for glue. Okay, now we're good. Just put over here and glue this down. I gotta get rid of this sticky page though. Put this up here. Okay, then our little couple here. Me and my desire to use fabric, I always <laughs> end up needing to use this glue. I need to figure out a hack for this. Tell me, I, I know some people have told me before you can add a little acetone into um, the Fabri-Tac to thin it a bit. Um, does that actually work? Or has anyone actually tried it and found it very successful? Because I'd have to go get some acetone. I'm not a nail polish person, so I don't have any readily in my home. But I may consider it. <laughs> there we go. They are so cute. Now we need our blue jay. Thank 
Baku, not for Scythia. That's got like a light gray um, behind it, this particular bird book. So it's not even like white edges. It's like a nice light gray. Sorry, my light just flickered. Sorry if that was like weird on camera for a second. My light bulb just decided to do a little flicker and now it seems totally fine. Okay, so now I'm going to get my Posca pen. Let's give it a little shake, shake, shake because I haven't used it in a, in a minute. And then I was thinking of trying to just do some mark making to get that nice blue in there. then I need some of this so I think what I'm gonna do today with this is I don't know if I should just maybe let me see how this looks just kind of tied through here it could look actually nice because it's this yeah it will because it's that nice big kind of a tag um, so I think what I'll do actually is just cut it and then instead of tying a knot um, I made that quite long <laughs> Let's just trim this down a little. And we'll trim it like in a in a V kind of. So we get that little kind of marquee. Um, all right, so I think I'm gonna go to the sewing machine, stitch around here, and I will be right back. Okay, so that's all stitched around, and I like what the stitching has kind of added to this, and I love how it just seals that fabric down nicely. Um, so then I have this little in these moments, this little snip out and we'll add a little charcoal you know a little black soot around so that um we stay in the theme i know this is not one of the colors but it's okay you can uh add a little pop of color i don't think there's any way of cheating on this uh concept here it's okay i'll just stick that down there i think that is very cute so I think that's good for today. Let's move these books out of the way and all this stuff and just focus on just the piece itself and the card. So yeah, I like what's happened here. I think that these are very fun together. Um, I like how the colors came together in this and that was a fun little project. So see, you never know where this will take you. So um, that is my little share for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like the finished piece of ephemera. I definitely do. Um, I will talk to you on the next Color Cubers or if you hang out here often, very much before then. <laughs> so take care, everyone. Bye for now.